in this video we will create this PCB like this. This is modified version from last video. So here we are using this polygon force instead instead of traces. So we can first rotate these connectors so this pin two is upside and this pin one is upside. So if we rotate it like that, then we can easily rewrote this and we have this dialer this side. So first we can delete these wires here. So we can click this wire and press delete. And now we can rotate this connector like this. And if we now try to wire this, we can do it, but it's a little bit bad schematic design because it starts from here. So it is good idea to mirror this symbol now. And then we can do these wires here. Now we can save this. And let's see how this PCB looks. We can delete this. And now we have to delete these routes from here. And we have the rotate these components and here we have some files so we have to delete also that and now we have to also rotate this symbol for this connector to so I will delete these wires here and we have to rotate this like that and we can mirror this symbol So now we have that rotated symbol. And now we see these air wires. So we could route it like this. But now we are going to use ground plane here. It makes wiring a little bit easier and it's a good idea. So how it works, we can use this polygon ball and we can go this bottom and before that we can go back to this semantic and we can add this ground symbol so let's use this one so we have that and it is this G and D and we can wire it here. So what it does, it changes this net to this G and D. And now we can save this. So here we have this common ground now. And if we go here, we can do this polygon bar and if we write here the G, it already detects detects this G and D thing now. So we can draw like this. And double click. Now we have ground plane bottom side. And we can already see 
this connector and this connector they are connected to this ground and we can change this uh, connector width here if we have a lot of current going so it is this one or i mean this thermal width so if we click example here now we have more area for current to pass we can use that one or we can also do like this and then it is fully connected to that pin but it is easier to solder if you use these thermals and for this one we can do like we can go back to this top and then we can draw like this and press middle button of the mouse so we get this wire here and if we look now it will go first this top plane and then it is connected to this large ground plane so now this is connected to the ground and we can do same thing for all this now we have all these connected to the ground and then we can draw this last here so we can do it like this we can draw this normal base from here and connect all these So it can be done like that and now we can save this and we can click this push to the 3d model so it can be done like that we have that big trace there and then we see here is this traces and then this wire is connecting it to this big ground plane so using ground planes is usually a good idea because you have very good that for the current return and then there is another way so instead of this we can use the same polygon force that we used for ground plane so we can delete this and we can draw like this so here we have to use this n this one and we can just draw like from here there and we can use polygons like this sometimes it's good idea use polygons like this because now it can transfer a lot of current and we can for this i will turn off these thermals now and then same thing we have to do for this side so it was this and i will draw it from here like that and i will add it a little bit here or i will just draw it all the way so like that and now we can save this so now we have instead of traces we are using this polygon force like this so that's another way and we could also if we want we could also replace these spaces here so now i have deleted all these threads from this and then we could again draw this plane here 
and we could do it something like here and and now I'm pressing alt so I can move it to small steps and I can do like this So this would be one way, but now we don't maybe need this ground plane anymore here. So we could just delete this if we want. And now we have this. I will also turn on off thermals from that. So this would be some like more high current force now. And if we go back here, we can push the 3D model. And it would look like this 